Welcome back everyone. Today we're going through 10 ab exercises you can do at home. You don't need any equipment. We're gonna focus on your whole core. So we're gonna work the top of your stomach, bottom of your stomach, your obliques, and your lower back as well. So these 10 exercises, you can pick and choose and add them into one of your workouts, or you can do all 10. Try and do three rounds of everything and do 10 to 20 reps of each exercise. Let me know in the comments how you go. First exercise we are doing is crunches. So I think crunches are a great way to help activate your stomach to start off with, because it really just focuses on your abs and doesn't get your lower back or legs involved too much. Second exercise, we're doing a full sit up. So very similar to a crunch, except we're coming the whole way up. Both the sit up and the crunch will be focusing more on the top of your abs. Okay, and if you've got uh, lower back problems, just be careful with the sit-ups because they can put a little bit of pressure on your lower back, especially if you're using momentum to swing yourself up. Third exercise, we're doing a leg raise here or a bent knee leg raise. So you want to sit on your hands with this and you want to keep your lower back as flat as you can on the mat. Okay, and that way it will help engage your stomach more. And these leg raises are good for working the bottom of your abs. Okay, they also work your legs a bit. Fourth exercise we're doing is a Russian twist or a V-sit twist. So you wanna just balance um, sitting on the ground like this, feet off the ground, twisting side to side. When you twist, make sure your body's twisting as well as your arms. Next up, number five, we're doing a twisting bicycle. So this is great for all over. This will work your obliques, top of your stomach, bottom of your stomach. Okay, and just do this one for as long as you can. It's a great all-rounder. Sixth exercise here, is a leg raise and a crunch together. The idea of this is it's gonna work the bottom of your abs with the leg raise and the top of your abs with the crunch. And uh, this is very effective. Next, we are doing heel taps, okay? So you're in a crunch position, so your, your head and shoulders are off the ground, so your abs are engaged the whole time. And then as you move from side to side, just trying to touch your heels, the idea is that you wanna tense your obliques, so the side of your core, and this is a good one for, for that as well. All right, we're doing sit-ups here with your feet off the ground. So this just makes the sit-ups harder. And since you've got your feet off the ground like this, it will help engage the bottom of your stomach as well as the top. Okay, we're doing a uh, side crunch. So just getting your elbow to the opposite knee. And as you can see, this is good for the obliques, top of the stomach and the bottom. So working your abs all over. And number 10, we're just finishing off with some regular leg raises. So straight legs, keeping your feet off the ground the whole time. You can sit on your hands to help support your lower back. Keeping your stomach tight. This is good for the bottom of your abs. All right, there are your 10 exercises. Try and get through all 10 in a row.